because this extended heat advisory mm -hmm. is still in effect. It will. It's going to expire this evening, but even tomorrow will feel like the triple digits. So what was our saving grace yesterday? A few showers. Amy, these little bitty specks that you're seeing, this helped lower our dew points. And that's why this morning we're not seeing a huge relief, but it is a few degrees cooler than where we started out yesterday. Right now in the city, we're coming in 74 degrees to start our morning off. Yesterday we got all the way up to 97. That is the second warmest day we have had thus far this season. Today's temperature very similar, but it will feel a few degrees cooler. But I realize once you get over 95, it just all kind of blends together. Right now over in Murfreesboro, we're starting off our morning 72 for you guys. The power of five radars completely dry. Now, like yesterday, I do look to see a few scattered showers moving their way in. We're also going to see a little bit of cloud cover. Area south of I-40, you've got the best chance for rain and you're looking to see the most cloud. Now, if you are headed your way closer to the Kentucky state line, you're going to see more sunshine than what we do have down to the south. But everybody's got these southerly winds moving in. And of course, that is fueling our system, making it just so daggum sticky. You'll notice down along into Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, we have a slight disturbance that pulsed up for a second. Some of that is going to try and slide into our area. Some of these outflow boundaries It's not going to do a ton for us, but that will give an opportunity for a few showers. Temperatures right now, 60s and 70s. Dew points are in the 60s and 70s. Yesterday, our moisture content everywhere were in the 70s. That's why it did feel so swampy when you sat outside. Today, it's still humid. It's still a hot start, but it is a little bit better. We still are going to be dealing with that heat advisory. You'll notice from just about everybody highly for you in the orange across Middle Tennessee as well as Southern Kentucky. This will expire this evening. Yesterday we talked about will this be extended again going into our Friday right now? I don't think it will because you've got to hit that criteria, making it feel like 105 plus to have a heat advisory and tomorrow looks like it's going to cap off at 104, so barely missing it. Temperatures though today are going to soar. By lunchtime, it's going to feel as if we're right around 100 degrees. So we'll see a chance or two for a scattered shower. Prime areas will be south of I-40. This is not a complete washout, but it will help wring out some of the moisture in the air and make it a little bit more comfortable going into today. Now tomorrow you'll notice that we do have a one out of five risk for some storms. Main concern for you will be some gusty winds and quite a bit of lightning like what we had yesterday. If you were even nearby the systems, you could tell it was very loud. Here's a look over the next seven days. 97 degrees today, feeling like the triple digits 93 tomorrow feeling like the triple digits, but it's a little bit of an improvement. 91 Saturday as well as Sunday, not going to be a complete washout, but we will see the opportunity for some scattered showers and storms with highs topping out next work week in the upper 80s.